Hi, I'm Gina Barrett, a program director at the Consortium for Public Education. For today's Snack and Learn, we're here with DeWitt Walton, the vice president of the A. Philip Randolph Institute. DeWitt, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. It's a privilege to be uh, here with you today. Well, we're happy that you're here. Can you tell us a little bit about the A. Philip Randolph Institute? The A. Philip Randolph Institute is a national organization of 100 and, uh, 129 chapters across 32 states in, the United, in America. And Pittsburgh is one of two chapters uh, of the 100, um, the 100 plus chapters that uh, engages in workforce development. Well, that's quite a history. Could you tell us a little bit specifically about the training that your program does? Uh, Breaking the Chains of Poverty, uh, specifically, is an eight-week, 320-hour program, and successful participants uh, in the program receive math-related training for apprenticeship tests, instruction on resume writing, interview techniques, conflict resolution. They are also introduced to issues like carbon footprinting, green chemistry, weatherization, and an environmental literacy program that we call Roots of Success that we do in partnership with an organization out of Oakland, California called uh, Green for All. Uh, Roots of Success is, in, again, is environmental literacy, uh, focusing on entrepreneurship, waste, water, health-related kinds of issues. Now, um, those are the so those are the soft skills that we that we address, but on the technical side and certification side, we look at what are employers looking for beside life skills or soft skills training, emotional maturity. And so we provide successful participants with six national and international certifications. Every individual that successfully completes our program again will receive a certification in OSHA. 30-hour construction safety. They'll receive um, a 40-hour hazardous waste and emergency response certification. They'll receive a 24-hour mold remediation certification. They'll receive a first aid and CPR certification from, uh, from the American Red Cross. Additionally, they will have a certification from the Pen Pennsylvania Department of Transportation for flagger training and they will receive also that national certification of roots of success about that uh, environmental literacy component. These are the kinds of things that employers are looking for on the technical side, because the majority of um, the employer training, uh, employer costs early on in someone's employment is on training to make sure that someone understands what the expectations are, what you need to do in order to be an effective employee. And so we also wind up with taking our participants to uh, manufacturing sites uh, and construction training sites where they learn about each of those individual crafts. There are 16 different crafts in the construction and building trades. We take folks to at least four to five of them. And then again, we take them to manufacturing sites where products are actually being produced on a day-to-day -day basis. So folks can begin to understand what happens in the real world of work and what the expectations are, what employers and uh, employers' needs are, what their expectations are. Could you talk a little bit um, just quickly about the requirements to get into your program and the cost or, or lack thereof cost? Let's start out with the cost piece. It costs an, indivi an, an individual zero to uh, participate in breaking the chains of poverty. We receive funding from state, local, uh, the foundation community, and some government uh, and, and governmental agencies to operate our program. Um, the requirements are simple. You have to be 18 years of age. You have to have a high school diploma or a GED. And then we send you to, uh, to, to for an assessment called the test of adult basic education, where you have to pay, pay a test to um, demonstrate your math and reading skills. If you don't meet our standards uh, from the outset, we will, we will refer you, if you are willing to participate, to a remediation process where you build the requisite skills so you can effectively meet our standards and compete for our program. Then 
you come in for a panel interview where we assess your willingness and your commitment to self-growth and self-improvement. If you successfully do that, then the last step is we send you for a 10 panel drug screen because we certify to all employers that our participants are drug free. And again, um, we're not trying to judge someone we're just saying that we meet employers' requirements and expectations, and these are the people that we send to them. What makes someone a good fit for your program? Um, a desire to change the outcome of their lives. Far too often in our communities and in our society, people don't get a fair shake in life. Folks have not had uh, an opportunity to become aware of what our, uh, what's out there and what's available for them. We try to provide uh, a wealth of experiences and exposure so people can begin to dare to dream again. Um, far too often, people don't have uh, any sense of hope and any recognition of opportunities. We try to provide an environment that is supportive, that is nurturing. And so people can begin to believe and trust in themselves and have hope, and again, to dare to dream of what, uh, of uh, being um, Thomas the Engine. Yes, I can, yes, I can. If you could give advice to someone who was graduating from your program and going out into the workforce, what would that piece of advice be? To take full advantage of what you learned. Um, before you go to an interview, learn about the company that you're interviewing with, about their product, about their revenue streams, what their objectives, what their goals and objectives are, so that you can positively engage them in a conversation about helping them achieve their goals and objectives, and how you will be a value added product and be a, a, an important member of that team to give all that you have and to be, again, to be the best that you can be. Excellent advice for anyone. Well, DeWitt, thank you so much for being here today. We really appreciated all that information. You're welcome. Thank you.